And that raspberry is just like. Hello. Oh, welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. Y'all, I am talking about some perfume today. It's been so long. So the perfume we're gonna be talking about today is Kate Spade's Cherry, <laughs> Kate Spade's Cherry Perfume, y'all. Before we jump all the way into this, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And on top of that, guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. And on top of that, guys, don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So let's give this a sniff. All right, all right. So I did pick this up from Ulta Beauty. This does retail for 55 smackers, okay? And this is a Eau de Parfum. This is an EDP. This is spelled cherry with a C-H-E-R-I-E -E with a little asterisk on top of the first E. It does have the cute pinky with red, kind of like circles, little dots. Kind of gives you a display of what the bottle's gonna look like inside, which is really cute. It does have the side that's red and that baby pink, or kind of hot pinkish. Powder pink, yeah, powder pink with red. Has on the top as well, and then the reverse colors on the back. Is the cutest packaging I've seen in a very long while. Look at it, it looks like a cute little double little cherry. It's so cute. So it has a lighter pink cherry round top and a darker red cherry round bottom. So cute. The top it does say in black letters, Cherry Kate Spade, New York. You pop off this little round top. This is so cute. It's a gold little spray applicator. Um, you guys already know the next step what we're going to be doing, which I love is my favorite part. So a little spray. Wrist. Wrist. Air. Walk through. Hmm. Oh, this is cute, this is cute. Okay, 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 okay. I smell this in Ulta, y'all, but I was like, oh, so many scents on me, so I can't get through. But this packaging alone and the price tag was like, we gotta try her out. So I did bring up Fragrantica, of course. Parisian, I'm gonna say that, Parisian romance that captures tender moments of surprises and adventure. Joyful and luminous, Kate Spade Cherry is a fruity, floral, musky fragrance embodying pop art spirit. Cute, cute, cute. Starting off, the top notes are raspberry, red currant, and mandarin orange. First spray, you smell raspberry off the bat, hands down. I do smell some mandarin orange in there too. Red currant, I'm not too sure. I don't have too many fragrances that have red currant in them, so maybe I'm just missing that, but I definitely smell raspberry first and then mandarin orange. The middle notes are sweet pea and jasmine. Now, I'm gonna break this down. I love me some jasmine, I do not like sweet pea. That's the part of the fragrance I do not like, I believe, because sweet pea to me reminds me, which, childhood story, nostalgic story real quick. When I was younger, me and my mom, we would always buy like sweet pea lotion and stuff, especially it was like Bath and Body Works. I just, the moonlight path, I remember her, she was it. But the sweet pea, I just got so sick of it. It was just so typical, like cute. It was just too like, me. I just do not like sweet pea. And I'm like, people still use it? I'm just, I'm just not a fan of it. But anyways, sweet pea part is what I think I don't like. But the jasmine part, I smell her a little bit. She's really soft when you first spray her. And the base notes are musk and white woods. So the part I do like when it dries down is the musky part. The white woods, I don't smell that so much either. So like the red currants, the jasmine, and the white woods is the three notes I really don't smell too much. The dry down is really pretty in the beginning. The burst of it is gorgeous. This does fit the whole vibe of like a Paris luncheon. It's really, really cute, like a little picnic is really, really that vibe. I think when it's hotter, this is gonna hit even better because the fruity notes at the top. But it being a perfume, I have to admit, this does not last long on me. It does have nice oil concentration, and I do spray enough, but I just think this is one of those fragrances that probably smell good on clothes. They linger in clothes. One of those situations, I believe. I did wear this to work one part on my wrist, one part on my sleeve, and it lasted longer on my jacket than my wrist. That tells me what I need to know because there's some fragrances that are really good as you know on your clothes or you walk through it in aroma. And then there's fragrances that on the skin it warms up just beautifully. And this is just not one of them. But on the clothes, she does. The raspberries are, oh! Now will you give it a nice, nice spray? Because I just sprayed her twice again to refreshen it. The mandarin in this is beautiful. Oh, I love that, that's addictive. Now, I will let this dry down. I still don't like the floral middle note. And I feel like it goes to it kind of quick and then it takes forever to get to the musk and white woods. And I'm like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I want that fruit. 
and I want that musk and white woods. That's really what I want. That floor on the middle, I didn't need it. I feel like they should have just kept those five notes. They didn't need the seven. They need those two in the middle. They'll, no floral should have been in this, in my opinion. But especially for springtime, this is actually perfect. But especially like a spring morning, a spring just outing, I just wish they would have kept the raspberry and mandarin and just like a musk. Oh, it would have been simple, just simple, simple, simple. But this does embody the way it looks. That's one thing too, this packaging is pretty much on it. Now, if it did smell like a cherry, that would have been fun. But I still think it being in the raspberry red currant and kind of reddish kind of colors, is really really cute i don't mind this one i feel like the beginning of the perfume is beautiful very very pretty that's the first time i got to like double spray and actually get that burst i think when you first spray it you're like ooh. i do believe when it's hot outside this is probably going to smell even better i feel like that raspberry mandarin is going to stay but the other notes the middle and the base notes i just don't think these pop out as much i think the top notes is the starter, beginning, the middle, and the end. I think again, a double spritz on this guy, and especially when you just one time on the clothes, it's gonna bring it out. So like I said, this is a very, very cute packaging. I believe this is very, very affordable. This also too, I forgot, Kate Spade, her perfumes, when you are looking for like one ounce, a lot of times they come as 1.3 ounces. So just let you know, cause I noticed that with hers, I'm like, you got a one ounce, and then they're like, we got 1.3, and I'm like, to the 1.3, you know, that's what she is. If you are ever on a picnic, in spring to summertime very much warmer sunny day kind of scent cherry cherry so that's my review over mrs little cherry here and thank you for watching me y'all which is nilly doing things don't forget to like subscribe to my channel which is nilly doing things and on top of that guys don't forget to leave a comment below you guys already know i'm gonna ask what is your favorite kate spade fragrance and if it can be this year years ago whichever one let me know in the comments below and on top of that guys don't forget to hit that notification button before you go you guys already know what i'm about to say i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one bye y'all